Hey, Susan, this is Roy. I'm the manager at the market. Hi. Hi. Um, it looks like you were having some problems finding uh, the kind of meat that you like at our store. Yeah. Um, when I went to the store yesterday, the meat, the man in the meat department said that um, the product that was advertised in your flyer that brought me there, um, that they didn't have it in the store, that they made it, it wasn't a big seller, they threw it out, and it wasn't available Next week it'll be there probably. Yeah, maybe. I think his problem, that's Chad that you talked to, right, in the meat department? I don't know who it was. It was an older guy. Yeah, that, that sounds Tall like guy heavy. Chad, because I, I asked him about this whole incident, and he, he's, he said, oh, you're talking about Susan, right? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, How do you know my name? I don't know, but he's just like, I do not like that lady at all, so I hid the meat. <laughs> that's what, what? He, And I told him not to do that anymore. So if you come back, he'll probably have some. And what? He doesn't even. I never saw this guy before in my life. Maybe he knows you from high school or something. I don't know. Maybe he knows you from somewhere else. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I'm just saying, like, Chad. Chad just he he said the reason was because it was you, but they actually we always have that. You know, if if it's in if it's our if it's our advertised thing. I didn't even know I was looking for it. He didn't, that's not absolutely not so. Probably he just whatever you asked for. He's like, no, we don't have that. And then and then he went. He quickly hit it. He like, he sleight of hand to. So did you fire him? No, no. Chad's a good employee. He just doesn't like you. This is a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's not a joke at all. What is um, your name? My name's Roy, and I know you already called the manager, but um, yeah, I, I wasn't in, so I'm, I'm calling you back. So you're I, telling me that this man, Chad, said, oh, I don't like Susan, so I hid the meat, and he's still an employee of yours? Yeah, I mean, he, he knows who you are. He knows you from somewhere. He, he said your, your full name and everything. And, and I told him, he, you, we just can't do that, Chad. He, uh, it's always something with this him. This is a joke. I'm, I'm calling corporate. This is a joke. You're going to call corporate because of a joke? That doesn't make sense. I'm going to call corporate because you've got to be joking. This can't be real. Why do you think it's a joke? Just because someone doesn't like you? Like, you know, that's, that's possible that someone doesn't like you, don't you think? It's not possible that you, Roy, the store manager, Why is would that? accept that as an employee. Well, no, he's normally a good employee. He just has something personal against Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Ma'am, ma'am, come on. Let's, let's, let, me, let me beg her not to call the corporate office. Hello? I, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Chad said you're a cock-sucking shit master. Oh, can you say... Could you say that again? Say what? what? What did Chad say I was? Oh, no, I didn't say anything. Uh, you must have heard something. Why, why do you need to, be to repeat it? I, I was hey, listen. Do you think this is funny? No, it's not funny. Uh. All right. Who are you again? Who do you think you are talking to my wife like that? She was... Be she was Okay, she came in the store and she was giving everyone the stink eye. And, and, All right, listen. And she was just listen. Fr freaking people out. Listen okay? to me. Listen to me. Don't ever call no, back here again. You listen to me, motherfucker. You don't talk to me like that. I'm a manager. Oh, boy. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna fall down. Yeah, I'm a fucking snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Snowplow show. Okay, bitch. Snowplow show. Roy. W what? W Roy. Okay, fucking dog. Steve Dave. Fucking dog. Oh, fuck you, lady. Turnwinder? <laughs> okay. Go, 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 shaw, go, 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 Doppelina. <laughs> Hello? How many fingers? Roy, long shits on the toilet. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Hello? This is the grooming manager. How can I help you? Hello? Who, who, who the hell are you? Steve Dave. No, 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 no. no. I, you're not making a lot of sense. Sense, sense, sense. My wiener. What the fuck is that? You don't say that word. You are some kind of asshole. asshole. Bob Doppelina. <laughs> Bob Doppelina. What's this? Fuck you, bitch. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bitch. Have you ever been fucked in the ass? How dare you talk to this dog like that? Heard? Fucked her? in the ass. Hello. Ma'am. Goodbye. Double Lena. Hello. 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 Goodbye. Double L
Dobelina. Neom, Neom. Blue. Goodbye. Dobelina. This is Sensei Doug. What? Sensei me fucking Doug. Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy? Who's the good boy, Westy? Is it you? Are you the good boy, Westy? Roy. Steve Dave Rock Bob Dobelina. Go suck a dick. Roy. Steve Dave Rock Bob Dobelina. Go suck a dick. Listen, Westy, you little shit. <laughs> Okay, I think you're full of shit. I think you're full of shit. Cactus, 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 motherfucker. Why, hello there, you son of a bitch. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and this is episode 776, sponsored by Audi Love, Todd L., Holden MJ, Phil Not the Doctor, and KC Deeply. They support us on patreon.com slash phone losers. Yesterday, I did a bunch of work on the Beverly line. The Beverly bot line, you know, where you can call up Beverly and she'll yell at you. The robot, not the real person, just the robot. So if you're a fan of the Beverly line, you might notice that about 10 clips have disappeared out of it. So it's a little bit easier for people to get to the end. But I took out those clips because they didn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, when I added all of those clips, like... 20 new clips or something. That was just too many. And I also made an easier to remember URL for the page about Beverly Bot. And you can find that at worldofprankcalls.com slash Beverly. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to worldofprankcalls.com slash Beverly and you'll know what I'm talking about. It's an angry old woman that can yell at people if you three-way them on the line with Beverly. Makes sense, right? I don't really know what else to talk about in today's intro. I guess that's it. Let's do some calls. I think this is going to be a short show. I did like, you know, a couple hours of calls today, but I haven't done any editing yet. I think it's going to be kind of a short segment. Sorry, everybody. Hey, I'm no numbskull, so call me at 1-900-909-2233 and you'll hear the funniest monster jokes like, what's a vampire's favorite sport? Basketball. <laughs> it costs $2.45 for a two-minute message, so ask your mom or dad if it's okay before you call 1-900-909-2233. I'm dying to make you laugh. <laughs> this is Gail. May I help you? Gail, hey, it's your neighbor. It's Frank. Uh, yeah. Just like your husband's you name. Want... Yes. Uh, Hang on. Just well, no, a... no, I, I don't like okay. really need to talk to Frank. I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you're going to hear some beeping soon. I've got a microwave antenna aimed at your house. I'm getting ready to turn... Oh, how lovely. Yeah, I'm getting ready to turn on the machine. Ah. Uh-huh. So you're going to notice okay. everything metal in there is is going to be magnetized. Oh, great. And you're going to hear some loud beeping sounds. What should I do with the dog? Uh, well, he'll be fine. You just, uh, you know, pet him and calm him down from the beeping sounds. Uh, the beeping mm-hmm. sounds. What are, do I do with my computer? Um, uh, I don't know. Like it should be fine. It's going to become magnetized. You don't use floppy disks, do you? Uh huh. You do use floppy disks. I do. Really? What kind? Like the the big floppy ones or the modern nineties mm-hmm. ones from like that that are hard shell plastic? Yeah. What's the storage capacity on them? I don't know. Why do you use floppy disks? Don't you have a hard drive? I'm a realtor. Oh, like do you have one of those cameras with a floppy disk? Oh, yeah. That's weird. Why don't you get like a digital camera with a with one of those cards? I have one of those, too. Why don't you use that all the time? Why are you using floppy disks? Because it's stored. But it's, it's only a matter of time before it those things give out and they stop working it's forever. It's only a matter of time before I'm too old to work. <sighs> all right. You got me there. So aim it some other direction. Oh, no, no. I'm aiming it there. Uh, everything's going to be magnetized. You're going to hear a series okay. of, of 13 beeps. It's going to sound uh-huh. like this. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. So that, That's when you'll know that it's happening. Uh-huh. Okay. And where do you live? Uh, just down the road a bit. I'm on the too, but I'm across the street, but kind of around the bend. Okay. Down the street and around the bend. Yep. There's no bend in Lane. Oh, yes, there is. There's Lane Southwest. It, bend, it bends all over the place. What are you talking about? Have you never been down the road? Only when I drive up and down the road. Okay. Have you ever noticed that you have to turn the wheel ever so slightly? Not really. To the right if you're going east and to the left if you're going west. There's bins all over it. What do you mean if I say so? It's a fact. 
Okay. It's not my opinion. What's wrong with you, lady? How many floppy disks do you have? A lot. Like uh, hundreds? Probably four stacks. Four stacks of what? Of a hundred. Oh, okay. Are you able to still buy brand new ones? I can. You can buy anything on Amazon. Okay. Jeez, don't bite my head off. Have you ever tried... I haven't started yet. Okay, have you ever... I mean, do you ever put in the really old discs and see if they still work? They work. Okay. They have my photos on them. Well, I, I know my discs started giving out like after about 10 years. Oh, well, I've only been doing it 17, so... <sighs> All right, well, you just have an answer for everything, don't you? I do. But I don't think I believe you because you're saying lane doesn't even bend. You're saying it's just a... It doesn't. You drive around trees. You drive around a box. Yeah, do you, do you have to, uh, like, turn the wheel at all? Or do you just go in an exact straight line and not turn at all? To tell you the truth, I haven't noticed. You haven't noticed if you have to turn the wheel on your own street? No. Well, I don't believe so a I thing you... I don't turn it much, evidently. I don't believe a thing you say, lady. You need to look well, at a... Well, that's your prerogative. Look at a map and look, look what lane looks like i live in the middle well in the middle that it should it turns both ways then nah not enough to worry about well it does turn there is a bend there are several bends okay if you say so okay, well, no, i won't it, argue with you it's a fact okay okay i love you just go beep yourself happy hey beat myself happy okay <laughs> bye i love you bye well shit i'm off to a bad start i don't really have a plan for today i'm just kind of calling up people off this old people directory again i am looking at a map of her house and that street she lives on that's a basically a full half circle like one entrance to it is facing south and the other entrance to it is facing south and there's a bunch of houses in between all of that a bunch of roads How's she a realtor and she's never seen a map of her own neighborhood? The lady's full of shit. And that's so weird The realtors still use those cameras that use three and a half inch floppy disks. Why would she do that in 2022? Right now I'm calling from this uh, neighborhood directory that Day3 sent to me and previously Crimson sent to me, but he sent me the old version. Damn it, Crimson. Hello? Hi, Nathan. Speaking. Hello, it's Daryl over at the post office. Uh, it's called okay. to let, called to let you know you're getting a new mail carrier on Monday. But uh, sorry, uh, you're getting a new mail carrier on Monday. So you're gonna need to, he's disabled. You're gonna need to put a wheelchair ramp going up to your door in case he needs to deliver packages. You know. Um. What? what I'm confused. Oh, how come? Um, like, what do you speak about a, a wheelchair? Uh, well, the the postman, he's in a wheelchair. And I know your oh. uh, your door's not that far up, but, uh, you know, he needs to be able to get up there and ring the doorbell. I see what you mean. So, um, yeah, you'll just need to okay. build a wheelchair ramp going up to that front door so you can bring boxes all the way up. Um, I, I... Can I give you my father's number? No. Um, so you could... No, you sound like a grown-up. You should just be able to handle this yourself. I'm building a wheelchair ramp. Yeah. But how do I... What? What? Yeah, just build a wheelchair ramp. You have that little that step up to your porch, and he's going to need to be able to get up there to ring your doorbell and bring boxes up. Okay, looks... I, I see the... I see what you mean. Um, when is this happening? Uh, well, he starts on Monday. So if you just have it done by Monday, just, uh, you know, you can buy a wheelchair ramp over at the Home Depot or the Lowe's. Or you can just build okay. one yourself. I I'd suggest an L-shaped one. You know, like put a landing down there at the end and, you know, because you don't want to make it too steep. He he's, okay. he's not um, super muscular. I don't. He can't get up a steep hill. Um, 
Can I call you back if I have questions? Okay, what well, uh, questions about like how to build a wheelchair ramp? And that just as if if you issues come up, can I please re- refer to this number if I have oh, questions? Oh, sure. Yeah, this is the main post office number. And which which post office are you at? Uh with the Okay. Uh I'll let you know if I have any questions. Okay, yeah, just um, get get that wheelchair ramp built. Otherwise, he won't be able to get up there and ring the door, ring the doorbell like a normal person. You have to comply yeah. with the Disabilities Act. Okay. Of two thousand two. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Um, is this going to all people that all people on? Yeah, yeah, I'm letting everybody know today. You need to have a wheelchair okay. ramp up there by Monday. Alrighty. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Shit. I don't know about that one. That guy didn't sound all, all there. Is he actually going to start building a wheelchair ramp? Hopefully he calls his dad and his dad can set things straight. Hello. Hey, James, this, this is uh Doug from the post office. Here. Yeah, Doug. Hey, uh, some of our mail carriers were kind of monkeying around as they were loading up the truck today, and they threw, you have a box, and it went up on the roof of the post office. Do you have a ladder that you could, uh, you know, come down here and just get that down? Absolutely not. I didn't throw it there, so. Yeah, but you're not going to get your box otherwise, because we don't don't have a way to get on the roof. Well, you'll have to figure it out, Doug. Well, you're not going to get your box, sir. It's just going to be up there forever, and it's going to get rained on. Well, I guess that's a problem you'll have to deal with. Well, no, it's a problem you'll have to deal with. You're you're the one not going to get your box. Nope, I doubt it. Listen here, you son of a bitch. You need to come out here and get your box. Hey, lucky little prick. I'm not coming out there, so go fuck yourself. How dare you curse at me? Yeah. What I'm do a, you want me to do? Go I'm to a, the funeral home? I'm a... Go to the funeral home? What's that mean? <laughs> and get my box. No, come to the post office. Why would it be at the funeral home? Because why would it be at the fucking post office? Because it's the post office. That's where the boxes come into. Yeah. From the Except, main distribution hub, you idiot. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Let it sit there, right? Okay, fine. Don't get your box. I don't care. I'll just leave it up there. Yeah. That's fine with me. All right. Have a nice day. Yep. Bye. I'm having the weirdest calls today. I'm so confused. That guy lives in a condominium, which I didn't notice until the very last minute. I was going to tell him the ramp thing, but that wouldn't be his problem if he lives in a condo. Hello? Hi, Ashley? Yes? It's Grega from the apartments here in the office. Hi. Hi. Uh, they wanted me to ask you to please stop dumping your cat litter boxes into the lake. Oh, I've never done that. Oh, ma'am, we know you've done it. We have cam- what? We have cameras back there, so could you please just not do that anymore? No, that's n- I'm sorry. I have never done that. Oh, why'd you just apologize then? You just said you're sorry. I'm and, sorry for the confusion. I have never, well, ever... Ma'am. Ever done that. Ma'am, you're not in any trouble. Just please don't do it again. That's all. No, but I'm telling you, I've not done that. You've done so it. So you need to find out who's actually on camera and talk to them. You've done it multiple times. We know it's you. Just if you. No, could... I haven't. I've, I've, why do you talk? Okay, I'd like to see this footage because I've never done that in my life. How would I get into the lake? I live on the second floor. Well, you walk it out there and you just kind of dump it in the lake. And, you know, I, I know it's. I walk it out from the second floor. Uh, no, I think you would go downstairs and out the sidewalk, you know? like an Okay, so you're telling me that you think that I go out my front door and all the way around the building and dump it into the lake? You're acting like that's a really far walk. It's not, you know? It's just, what is it, like six units per building? Anybody can walk around the building. There's a sidewalk that goes around it. I don't know who you think you have on camera, but it is not... Me. Yes, it's you, Ashley. Just please don't do it again. That's all. Like that's no, all. No, please do not accuse me of that. It is not me. I dump into the dumpster, and that is it. 
Well, except for in, when you dump it into the pond. Like, just just please don't dump that in the pond anymore, okay? Who are you? I've never, I don't even know who you are. Who are you? My name is Greg. I work here in the office. Greg, I will I will Greg-a. be there soon because this is completely unacceptable. Well, I'm, that is not me, and I want to see this footage. I think your attitude's unacceptable. You're all hollering at me. You, just, you are accusing me. Well, you, I want to speak to your manager. I will be there shortly. Well, <laughs> geez, that's a high-strung lady hollering at me over nothing. Just a simple request. That was a number from Next Door Nick, and that was also his idea, accuse them of throwing dog and cat poop into the ponds because it's uh, an apartment building built around a very large pond or lake or whatever you would call it so that should be interesting when she gets home and goes and talks to the office people about dumping her litter box into the lake i gave up on that other list i couldn't seem to get many people to answer today off of it so i'm just going through the request directory and calling up random people hello hi wendy yes hey it's greg uh, from the post office yeah. Um, we're, you're getting a new mail carrier on Monday. Uh-huh. And um, he needs to be able to come up your sidewalk, and your sidewalk's kind of narrow in his wheelchair, you know? So do you think you could widen your sidewalk by about a foot? No. Why I'm not? a runner, so... <laughs> well, that doesn't mean anything at all. You need to... To just cut cut out some of that grass and lay down some cement. It doesn't have to be pretty. You know, just get it done. I can give you my landlord's number and you can call her because oh, no. I have nothing to do. No, that's none of my business. Uh, you, you can call your landlord and, and tell them to put down the cement. But, you know, so we're getting a new carrier in a wheelchair. Yes, and that sidewalk is not ADA compliant. It's very narrow. Oh, my God. And also, you have that welcome mat out there in front of your door. That's got to go. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, I thought you did. Okay, no, well, I don't. Well, don't be putting any welcome mats in front of your door because, you know, he, he can't run his wheelchair over everything. I know, okay. I know it doesn't seem like a lot to you, but, you know, you have legs. Oh, excuse me. Why? I wasn't an insult. You Just, can be a little polite or... Well, you're okay. kind of hollering at me about your landlord. No, I'm not. You just get because out there. Because I'm a runner, and I can't do ju- I just can't be digging up her grass oh, and I, laying th- cement. This is the command of the United States Postal Service, so you tell your landlord that we said it's okay. You just get some of those bags of 50-pound cement and mix them up with water with your hose and just lay it out there. It's fun. It's like playing in the mud. Okay. I work 14-hour days. I don't have time to be digging up and playing in dirt. Okay, Ma'am, you're just for one. You're just full of excuses. Okay, she works for the postal service, so I'm going to ask her how wide does this? Be? Are you sure you even have the right address? Of course I do. It needs to be three feet wide. What? What's your sidewalk like? Two feet wide? How do you even walk on that? Seems that's like a balance. What do you mean? It's like a balancing. I don't beam. have a. Mine is just as wide as my neighbor's to get up there. So I think you have the wrong address. Oh, I don't think so. What address are you calling on? Uh, 26 Street. Yeah. Mine is just as wide as my neighbor's. I'm talking to your neighbors, too, so you calm down, lady. Miss Missy. Excuse me? You can lose your attitude with me. I'm going to talk to that neighbor about their curvy sidewalk, too, because he shouldn't have to do an obstacle course just to run his wheelchair What do you mean, curvy um, sidewalk? He don't have a curvy sidewalk. Oh, ma'am, you don't know what you're talking about. You just... Worry about your own yard, and you get that sidewalk widened. Wow, okay. You can kiss my fucking ass, what you can do. Hey, hey, you don't talk to a post... Damn it, I'm a post office employee. She's all cursing at me and stuff. I almost had to abandon that one because her house is completely flat. The door is down to the ground. A wheelchair could just roll right in there. But luckily, it was a very narrow-looking sidewalk that really doesn't even look comfortable to walk on. So she'd be doing herself a favor. That was another one from Next Door Nick. Thank you, Next Door Nick. All right, I scrolled back a little ways in the request folder. I'm at exactly 500 requests ago, which is about one third of the way through the entire thing. And I have this request here from April of this year from David. And he says, hey, Roy, Richard is from New Jersey, but lives in Georgia. He's in his 70s and sits shirtless on his lawn harassing 
Anyone walking their dog, driving by, or mowing their lawn. He thinks he's the neighborhood hallway monitor. Oh man, I know what that's like. I've got one of those across the street from me. Actually, I can hear him right now out there hollering at everybody, just making small talk with people that just want to walk by and go about their days. I can't walk outside of my door without him yelling something stupid at me. Sorry. Anyway, in the summer, he sits at the neighborhood pool and talks to death anyone with ears about the rules of the neighborhood and comments on improvements needed. There's a pool? Here, let me look at this neighborhood map. David didn't give me the exact address, but I looked it up. Damn it, David. It just looks like a normal neighborhood. And I only see one neighbor with a pool. Does he, like, go to the city pool? Oh, wait, no, here it is. Right next to the clubhouse. It's many, many blocks away. So that's weird. He hangs out at the pool all day just to talk to people. This guy pisses me off. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Richard, are you there? It's Grega. Hello, it's your neighbor. It's Grega. I live down the street. Right here on... Are you there? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello, Richard. Hello. Are you home? Richard? 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 Okay, let me try again. One more time. Hello? Richard! I was trying to call a minute yeah. ago. You wouldn't pick up. Oh, who, who, uh, you know, I, I didn't recognize the voice. Oh, it's great. Uh, I it's, was, like, uh, it, it, monitoring, you know, the, uh... Oh, go ahead. What's up? Monitoring the what? Oh, monitor. I thought you meant monitoring the neighborhood. No, no, no like uh, screening the calls. You know. Yeah. I didn't, I, I, I didn't. I didn't recognize your voice. Dodging the creditors. I get it. <laughs> um, I was dodging the uh, like scammers and stuff. I didn't. Uh, yeah, right. If I knew it was you, I would have answered. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. I'm with the homeowners association. You need to do something about those light bulbs on either side of your garage door. Uh, who, who, now, which neighbor is this? Uh, this is Grega. I'm, I'm with the homeowners association and you got, Grega. you got one of those light bulbs. that looks like it's a hundred watt and the other is a 60 watt and they got different styles of uh, lighting on them. I think one of them might be a CFL and you're making the whole, uh, you're making the whole neighborhood look like this is a city dump. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I think you have the wrong house. Oh, okay? I don't think so. What, what, no, what, what address do you have? 80 f way. Uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. I have different lights. My yeah, lights yeah, are the same. Do you know what a wattage I is? Have, I have the same wattages in both lamps. I think you're full of shit. Which, okay? which wattages so, do you tonight? have? What about lumens? Oh, let me try him again. He didn't really want to argue. Hello? Hey, you tell that husband of yours to fix those porch lights on either side of the garage door. We don't have any porch lights uh, that we put on over there by the garage. I don't listen, know what you're talking about. Listen, ma'am, there's a light on either side of your garage door, and they look like shit, and you need to fix those. You got different wattages in there, different lumens. I never and use then, the damn garage door uh, the lights on the side of the garage, so you must have the wrong Oh, yes, you house. have. No, we don't. It's 80 f way. We know who you are. Your husband's the one that's always out there hollering at everybody. No, he's not. He's, he's never out there hollering at well, anybody. Well, he's, he's like chatting everyone You up. have he the just, wrong number. He, Goodbye. He, he, he won't leave people alone when they walk by. All right. Got to talk to Richard's wife, I guess. I guess that's the best we can do, David. I tried. Sorry it took so long. Hello. Hey, Angelina. Yeah. Listen here, you nappy hoe. Why don't you just hang up that damn phone? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you better do it right now. That's right, okay. That was a number from the sign guy from back in April of this year, and she was looking for a fourth roommate. Maybe the girl laughing in the background was the fourth roommate that she found. Oh, but now that I'm looking at the post that he linked to, there are three girls with their phone numbers posted. Bella, Carly. Hey, this is Bella. Sorry, I missed uh, the call. All right, Bella's not going to pick up. And then we've got Carly. Why didn't he give me all these numbers? I guess he figured I would look at the post and see them. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Five. Looks like the other two aren't going to pick up. Oh, well. Thanks, the sign guy. Here's a request from ZMA. 
from way back in December of 2021. He says, not necessary. I don't know what that part's about, but he says, I've got the number to a scummy landlord who manages a lot of properties. Give this man a call and be a tenant from hell. Tell him you're from north of university and you don't know all the roads. It's a college town, so you can be new to town, college attendee, renter. And the guy's name is Marty. Let's give him a call. Hello, this is Marty. Hey, Marty. I'm one of your tenants. Mm-hmm. Like north of the, of the university. Okay. And, Which one? Um, like, we removed the wall in between our, our apartment and the apartment next door because our friends live over there. Okay. And um, I don't know, something about the beam up up on top. It's, it's like it's not connected or something between the apartments. And it's starting to sag Please down say, a little bit. Well, what unit are like, you in? Do, do you, um, I, I don't know, is it 24? Uh, you're not helping me any. 24 what? Look, sir, it doesn't even matter. Like, basically, it's a brand new unit because we made one big unit out of the two small units. Are you the tenant? I'm the subleaser. It's like an Airbnb situation. I'm I'm just kind of staying here and I'm I'm paying uh Eddie. Okay, what's the address so, are you in? Uh, I don't know all the roads around here. I just I walk to the college, okay? What is the address? Marty, I can't help you. you you're not even listening address. to me. The the beam is sinking a little bit and I don't know I can't like, help you if, if I don't know the address. If I could just borrow a drill from you, I could drill some holes no. through the beams. And, no. uh, what some, is your address? I could put some heavy-duty bolts through them, and that way they won't sag down. Cause they're not, I, I'm not giving you anything until you give me the address. Listen here, you son of a bitch. It's, not, it's sagging, and they're not even connected. Like this seems, I don't care if the fucking thing burns down. If you don't give me the goddamn address, I'm not going to help you. You don't care if your property's burned down? That's insurance it's fraud. It's not mine. It's not mine. What do you Give mean, me the address yours? and I'll help you. Is, you. is it your daddy's apartments? Do you just manage them for him? Are you just a real big prick or what? I'm not trying to be. I was trying to ask if I could borrow a drill. And just put some. No, more. go buy one. Okay, fine. I'll go buy one because you know what? We you like don't have that. permission to do anything to any of the properties I manage. Well, you, you don't tell you me just, where you live. I hey, can't help you. You just told me to go buy one and said I could do it. So I'm going to put some bolts no. up there. And maybe and I'll sue you for every bit of damage that you cause. Oh, you Tell can't, me the address where you live. You can't sue me because it's not even your property. Tell me where you live. It's, it's your daddy's. It's your daddy's property. I got your daddy swinging right here, pal. Tell me the address. What does that mean? Who are you? Well, it doesn't even matter. We we just you know we're friends with the people next door, so we decided to open up the wall. And you, you're not it, friends with anybody that I manage. Oh, yes, I am. You don't know who I'm no, friends you're with. Not. You're not friends with... I, if you don't tell me who you are, we're going to hang up, pal, because I'm not giving you any I don't any care if you hang up. You go ahead life. and hang up. I order you to hang up that damn phone. Marty. I thought you'd be cool about this, but you're just a big asshole. I'm not an asshole either. You are. You're being the asshole. I just wanted to borrow no. a drill. Fine, I'll go buy a drill. I'll do you it make my... A, you make a thing. You make changes to the apartment that I manage, and I will sue you. We already did it. We we opened up the wall. And you, then you are liable for the, the changes and the damage that happen. We made like a really wide doorway. It's like six feet wide between the apartments. I don't care what you did. You are liable for the damages that you caused. Well, if you don't care, why are you getting so mad? Because you don't tell me what unit you're in, and I can't fix it if you don't tell me. Well, I don't want you to fix it. I don't even want you coming in here. Keep your smelly well, ass I, as out of here. As soon as I find out who you are, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you can't just come in someone's house yes, like that. Yes, I will. Oh, no, yes, you can't. I will. You better have the oh, yes, proper paperwork, Missy. You watch and see, pal. You watch and see. Okay, cowboy. Yeah, you're the cowboy. Oh, you're the you cowboy. You just make changes to things you want to make changes to, and you you don't you think you can do anything you want to any property that you uh, that you rent? It's so we didn't have to go outside to come over to each other's apartments. Duh. Th- that's not acceptable. Yes, it is. It is. It no, is. It us. isn't. We've had it like this it for like two months anybody. now. I don't care how long it's been done. It's still not acceptable. It looks nice. I don't care what it looks like. It's not acceptable. It looks better than it looked before, except for I the... don't care if it looks better than it's before. It's not acceptable. Okay, well, the beam's sagging, and, uh, you know, we're going to put and up then, a new... And if the beam falls down on you, you caused it. No, your shitty apartment yes, caused it. You caused your it. Your shitty you property. Changes. 
without permits to things and and ex- and expect other people to fix them for you. Well, you're just jealous because I have friends next door and you don't. I'm not jealous of you in the least, fucker. Oh yes, you are. I can tell. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're all, you're all you're being. You're all being. I eh. I I'm not going to loan you my drill. Eh. I wouldn't loan you anything. I know because you're a a greedy, selfish person. That's what you think, and you don't even know me. Yes, I do. You're a narcissist who thinks you can change anything at any time you want to and expect other people to help you for free of charge and then accept the changes. I already told you I'm, I'll buy my own damn drill and I'll get my own bolts. And I'll, you'll pay for these damages as soon as I find out what what unit you're in. They're not damages. They're improvements, idiot. They're not improvements, and I'm not an idiot, and you have to have permits to make changes. Well, you know what? You, you're supposed to have your beams connected, and you don't have your beams connected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't think you think you know so much. No, that's not the truth. Okay. So oh, you don't you have to have your beams connected. No, you don't have to have your beams connected. Yeah, you don't All know right. shit. That's what you think. Why don't you meet me down at my office tonight? Hmm? There you go. How about it, pal? Come on down there. Okay. Is your daddy going to be there too? My daddy might be there. Your okay. mama might be there. I don't think so. Yeah, your mama might be there. Oh, I doubt it. She's the one. She's the one who birthed you or hatched you. You don't even know my mama. You little know nothing. Oh, I know everything. You, yeah, you're, I just, know. you're just jealous. You, you never you, went to college, and I'm going to college. You, you think you know everything? That's what's so funny. It's never. I've never seen anybody more deceived than you. You can't even see me, idiot. I can't. I can't believe you're you, so deceived. You don't even know which apartment <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Tell you me which. A real trip. Tell me this which apartment fun. I'm in. This is real fun, you know. Oh, is it? It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. Okay, I'm I've glad. I've never seen anybody. I have never seen anybody with such an ego in my life. Well, you're not even looking at me, so you're not seeing it now either. I I've never heard anybody with such an ego. That's better. See, you gotta use those college smarts. Oh, I thought you said I never went to college. Didn't you? <laughs> No, your damn business. How about that? Whoa. Marty the Badass. Oh, yeah. What'd you say your name was? I'm not telling you now. You should have been listening in the first place. You never said your name. Yes, I did. And I hope your building burns down and you're asleep in the middle of it. Okay? Well, that's that's rude. No, it's not rude. It's her true wish. You already used that insult the first time. No, I like, do. I really hope it. And and it's okay if I can use it again. I get to make the rules, not you. Well, I'm recording this say, phone call, and if, if my apartment burns down and I die, I'm going to show this call to the police. I don't care what you do. If you die, I won't make any difference. I'm going to give this recording of this phone call to uh, people <laughs> that can give it to the property, proper you authorities. Are real piece, you're a real piece of work. <laughs> you're a real piece of work. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs> You are so funny, man. Thank I you. Swear. All right. I'm glad we both got something out of this phone call. I'm going to go to the hardware store now. I love you, Marty. Marty. I love you. Marty. Marty, it's time for the voicemails. I've just decided we're going to listen to voicemails now. So if you could say, this is Marty signing off. I'd appreciate it. Marty, what are you doing? What's going on over there? Marty? Marty, you forgot to hang up the phone. You hung up improperly. If you'd gone to college, you would know how to hang up. You know, 20, 30 more minutes of of listening to this, I'm I'm going to just hang up. What are you doing over there, Marty? All right, you guys. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hang up on Marty. It's time for the voicemails. Thanks, ZMA, for this phone number. It was pretty fun. At first, anyway. Then you just start laughing at me. Here, maybe I can do some touch tones. I am sorry, but that's not a valid Shit. extension. Please try again. All right. I'm hanging up. I activated something on my system. Not sure what it was. Maybe it'll just keep Marty on hold all day. Anyway, here's the voicemails. Cisco Kids, Cactus Corner. Play those voicemails. Brad! Hello. Hello. 
This is Dr. Gable from Spokane, Washington. Hey. You your dogs in the background, I'm sorry. You tell those dogs to shut the fuck up. I tell them to shut the fuck up. Yep, you got me. I find it very interesting when you call relatively old people and they threaten to call the police on you. I think it's uh, emblematic. Why don't you go in the bathroom or something away from the dogs? When you leave voicemails, damn it. Some sort of psychological dysfunction within the older generations. Yeah. They're so offended by a funny phone call that they really get the police involved. I think this probably has a larger societal implication, but it's not like I'm a doctor. Anyway, I'll yeah. call me back. Okay. <laughs> I won't. You need to kick that dog, though. Stupid dog. Hey, Brad. It's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. And... Just finished listening to the most recent Hobisode, and what a gem it was. Did you call it a Hobisode? I forgot how much I missed those Lunk Alarm calls. The Lunk Alarm is so oh, yeah. so soothing. Yeah. I think I remember you guys... I started the, uh, the, that Hobisode, that Hobisode, on Friday, and I got them to do the Lunk Alarm for like a half a second. I was pretty disappointed in that. And then when I finished up the Hobisode on Sunday, I called back and got them to do it again. That was the same Planet Fitness location that I'd called before. And they did it for a whole minute. It was awesome. I Talking loved it. about the limits of Lunk Alarm technology, like the longest you had to go. Like, it was over a minute, so wherever you called... Get it more than a minute, four seconds, minute and a half, whatever. Yeah. And eventually, that lunk alarm just, just dwindles down to nothingness. So, yep. looking for some more lunk alarm calls, Brad. Woo-hoo. Anyway, have a good week, Brad. Make your choices. Bye. Apparently, it's not safe to keep those lunk alarms going for too long because they will start to smoke and they will make the gym smell like fire. Those lunk alarms will actually break if you keep them on for long enough. Which makes it a little bit weird that they put a switch on those and not a button. Like, why did they do that? Why is there a light switch to turn on the lunk alarm and not a momentary contact button to push? So someone has to stand there and hold down the button? That was a poor design choice, Planet Fitness. I know that happened, uh, I think once to Carlito and I think once to Dwight. I don't know if it ever happened to me. But those lunk alarms will start to smoke and possibly catch on fire and burn down the gym and kill everybody. So you gotta be careful with those, everybody. Don't keep them going for 15 minutes like some people have done. Oh, oh hey, hey, Brad, it's Corbin Guy. How hey. you doing? Great. Hey, you hear that? You hear that? No. It's the sound of people donating and joining the Patreon and becoming part of the PLA community is what you should do, listener. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> now listener. Back to you, Brad. No, I don't have any wonderful ideas for you at the moment, and I know that you never get around to answering your email. Yes, I do. So I'm just going to say you're doing a good job, and I love you, buddy. So, uh, yeah. Thanks. Hope you've had a good summer, and happy Halloween. Thanks, Corbin guy. I've been doing pretty good with the emails lately. I'm sort of caught up. As of two weeks ago, anyway, I haven't really done anything in the past two weeks. It's starting to fill up again, but I'm trying. Hey, Brad, you know who it is? Call from Grubber's Foam. Um, I was listening to this, the Snowplow show up to 500, and mm-hmm. uh, it sounds like you did a prank call from outer space to a gas station. Yes. And you're going to lower the hose down when it actually went outside. Fun fact, I wasn't really in outer space. I just said I was. And I cannot just pretended. Find where it is, do you know what episode, or if I used to look up certain keywords on the uh, Stuff Brad Says website, um, if so, that'd be awesome, so I'd love to hear that. I it's okay, you can say the shit word on this show. It's shitbradsays.com. Yeah, a National Space Station to the apartment woman. Hilarious, so thank you, bye. Yeah, I don't know, just uh, search for the word Tuck Pendleton. I always say I'm Tuck Pendleton, and I haven't done those in a few years, so it'd definitely be a few years ago. Somebody will find it, and they'll post it in the comments of the show, I bet. Hey, Brad. What you doing? Hey. Uh, where you at? Uh, here? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I just wanted to let you know um, that uh, you've been reported. Oh, no. By other people in the HOA. She And uh, that's led uh, me to do this, and I'm going to have to start the trace. Oh, don't start the trace. Please don't start the trace. Okay, this voicemail is really long. You're talking way too slow. What are you doing? I'm moving on to the next one. Hey, Brad. Here's hey, a nice bro. nice short one. Hey, Brawly guy. Hey, Brawly guy. Long time listener. Very first time caller. Okay. Um, so long, fuck boy. Okay, thanks, Rally guy. That was real great. You said a lot. Hey, it's Jehovah. I'm calling just to inquire about 
episode five, four, six, you said in three years, if you're not bedridden and not ill, you're going to travel the world in a car or something. What happened? How do you know I'm not traveling a car right now? It could be happening, but I'm sure I was uh, referring to probation and me being off of it, which has not quite happened yet, but it will soon. Hey, Brad. It's Novak the Lurker from uh, Montana here, and uh, I did... Send- from uh, Montana? Are you really from Montana? Are you sure you're from Montana? Do you a few, you know, ideas through your email there, uh, for prank calling, and I just wondered if you received any of those. Okay. I uh, listened to your uh, latest show here, and I haven't heard any of those ideas being implemented, dude. Let me go check my email right now. I'll do that. Thank you for the voicemail to go check my email. Hey, Brad. This is Next Door Nick. Hey. And uh, now that we're on the voicemail segment of the show, I would like to talk about a voicemail from Incognito that I remember. You guys remember Incognito? I do. Some really good voicemail back about five years or so ago. Those were the days. Anyways, I remember this one specifically where he time travels into the future and like 10 or 20 years into the future from whatever episode that was and you know, he encounters like an old Brad making prank phone calls or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like a Ghost of Christmas Future type thing he did. If anybody knows where that is, what show that was, I'll be very glad to hear it again because that was a great voicemail. And that guy did great voicemails. I'm like, my voicemails, which are just basic and crappy. I know. Okay, bye. I hate your voicemails. I miss the good old days of incognito. Yeah, I don't know when that would be from. Years and years ago. He probably got bored and stopped listening. So that was our very last voicemail. I'm going to pretend. There's actually a lot of voicemails left in here, but I'm done playing them. There's no new ones, really. The most recent one is from 15 days ago. So that's good enough for me. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the show. And thanks, Audi Love, Todd L., Holden MJ, Phil Not the Doctor, and KC Deeply for supporting us at patreon.com slash phone losers. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show, all the shows, and causing me to never stop doing shows. I'm starting to think. Thanks, everybody. You know what I'm nostalgic for right now? The good old Mr. Biggs show. He hasn't done an episode in a while. You need to do another episode, Mr. Biggs. Get the band back together. Do another Stick It or another Ask Mr. Biggs show. To try and entice him, I'm going to play the old theme song from the Stick It with Mr. Biggs show, which I don't think was actually ever the theme song, but I like this song. Here's a song by Mr. Biggs and Roger. If you got two things that need to be stuck... If you tried to use epoxy but you had no luck How do you stick them? I'll tell you how Stick it with Mr. Biggs Yeah, yeah, all right Tapes and glues Tune in to the podcast with Mr. Biggs and Roger and the breaking news We got the solutions on our podcast feed Talking about adhesives and what you need to succeed with your glue ups, glue and stuff to other things, and what to squirt in between and junk like that. If you got two things that need adhesed, don't try to clamp it all together held between your knees. How do you stick them? I'll tell you how. Stick it with Mr. Biggs. Take it, Roger. Here, right here, now is my Yeah, part. this is your part of the song. Go ahead and sing. Uh, my name is Roger and I'm part of the show, Read, oh. I read your emails. No, Roger. I don't. I don't. Stick it with Mr. Biggs. Roger, what happened back there? You didn't sing. You know, I'm not really, uh, comfortable. Singing if I didn't if I didn't You didn't sing your part, Roger. Now we got a big hole in the middle of the no, song. I, I don't I don't sing. If you got two things that need to be glued. If you tried to use some duct tape but it stuck to your shoe. How do you stick it? Here's a clue, try stick it with Mr. Biggs. Stick it with Mr. Biggs. Stick it. Stick it. With Mr. Biggs. Wow, okay, you can kiss my fucking ass, what you can do.